Hi, Pete here. I'm starting to work on the audio amplifier stage and I wanted to show you the little process I went through. First, here's the schematic uh, for the audio amplifier. And I took that schematic and took it, taking a piece of uh, quad drill paper, actually sketched it out with the uh, various little pads where everything will connect. Then I took my piece of uh, single-sided copper board and just uh, created uh, one quarter inch uh, grid squares on top of it. So essentially what I've done is taken the little places, placement of the dots that go on the quadrille paper and transferred those uh, to, right to the copper board. So now I can see all the circuits going to fit and I've actually seen some circuit improvements that could be made as a result of putting it on the copper board. And so then what I'll, the next step in the process will be to drill the four holes in the corner, cut the board uh, off from the, the stock. So this is going to be an amp that's uh, two inches by four inches. And then what I'll do every place where I have a little square, put a dab of glue and uh, glue those in place. And then once that hardens, uh, what I can do is um, uh, begin the soldering process. So we started with a schematic first, transferred that to the quad drill paper and found the best way to put all the pads down and then lined our uh, piece of uh, PC board with quarter inch squares and just put the uh, the meat pads in, in place where they're supposed to go and then we'll do the uh, the glue down and then uh, ultimately begin the soldering process. This is N6QW, this is the audio amplifier portion of the Let's Build Something direct conversion receiver. Guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and we just finished construction of the audio amplifier stage that will go with the Let's Build Something direct conversion receiver. And uh, here's the schematic that we followed, and here's the finished board where we use the Mi pads. And uh, I have it connected up to a 12-volt uh, uh, power supply here, and a uh, little volume control right there. And again, remember that you have to have an isolated output uh, on the uh, speaker because it's connected to the 12 volt. Uh, it's connected to the 12 volt rail. So um, uh, we're going to run. We're going to do the little uh, peak test here. Uh, N6QW. This is uh, called my tune for maximum smoke, and I've powered it on, and there was no smoke, which is good. And so, can you hear that? Uh, so it's amplifying, but listen, you hear no hum without me touching the control here. So that's indeed good. That's a, that's going to be a good amp for our Let's Build Something direct conversion receiver. Again, this is Pete, N6QW, and this is the last part of the video. Earlier I showed how I put the pads down and laid out the grid, and uh, we just soldered everything per the schematic right here. And you can see that right there. So um, we're ready to, uh, to uh, connect this up to the rest of the receiver. And then we'll run some tests. Uh, again, this is Pete N6QW. And this is the Let's Build Something Direct Conversion Receiver Audio Amplifier Stage.